my dad was one of those men who, first of all, was known by everyone, would lend a helping hand to anybody who needed it. Because no one thought it could ever be the coronavirus, you know, it's because it was so new and, you know, it was happening everywhere else around the world, but it wasn't happening to our family. He didn't have a dry cough. He didn't have a high fever. Don Spitko wasn't himself. It was the end of March, and thinking it could be the flu, he went to urgent care with his daughter, and then he was sent home. I would have taken him straight to the ER, I believe, if I, in hindsight, if I had known that it was this serious. When the ambulance came, and I just said, you know, Dad, we just got in the hospital, we get checked out. He was intubated within 12 hours of being there and never, never came off. For more than 20 days, Don stayed at Einstein Montgomery. His family, all of them, including his wife, forbidden to see him. And then the test results started coming in. How many of you in this group came down with coronavirus? Not only unable to see their dad, now the family couldn't see each other, even as the decision was made to let him go. We literally watched my dad take his last breath on an iPad. Well, we should have been there in person with them. And as hard as that was to do and how unorthodox it was and how uncommon it is, I think that's going to be the norm for a lot of families um, moving forward. And we had to share one iPad with the whole ICU. Why do the Spitcos want you to hear this? You know, it's not about missing work or missing parties or play dates or not being able to go out and go shopping and then uh, you know, going to concerts. It's this is about people, loved ones are dying of all ages. It's about the heartache, the devastation. It's the isolation, the separation. The virus not only stole their dad, but their time together. That is going to come back and hit us even harder if we do this too soon. How many of you have been furloughed or not working, not getting a paycheck during this? They know how hard it is not to work, but also how hard it will be for you if a loved one falls ill or worse, doesn't recover. I, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Deanna Durante, NBC10 News.